Hey guys, we're here at CI 2017 for the unveiling of the Nucleus 7, the first ever sound processor that syncs with your iPhone. For the past three days, we've spent time with doctors, engineers, and recipients to discuss the Nucleus 7 and how it's changing lives. I made this video in collaboration with Cochlear. Let's take a look. My name is Roger Smith, and I'm the global product manager for Nucleus 7. So Imagine this, being in a world where you can't and hear anything, and the only thing you rely on is lip reading or sign language. There are over 360 million people with hearing loss, including over 32 million kids. Advances in modern medicine has made things so much better for millions of people. One company that is truly pushing the envelope is Cochlear. They just introduced the Nucleus 7 sound processor. This is the first ever sound processor that's made in conjunction with Apple to sync directly to the iPhone. Meaning for the first time ever, these people who have hearing loss can now directly connect to their phone for voice calls, FaceTime, or even listening to music. And this new sound processor only works with cochlear implants. Instead of me talking about this as someone who does not use this product, I'll introduce you to Matthias von Müller. He is a Nucleus 7 end user. We've had a little bit of time to discuss his experiences with the Nucleus 7 in San Francisco. Now with the Nucleus 7, it's really amazing how the phone, you don't need an accessory. It streams directly from your phone into the cochlear and into your hearing aid with so little lag. So when I get a phone call, I just swipe, pick it up like a normal hearing person would, and within a fraction of a second, I can hear the streamed audio in both ears. So to me, to describe this best is really stereo, high definition. Matthias is speaking on being able to turn down the outside microphones, meaning he has built-in noise cancellation hearing. He can turn off the outside world with his app and only hear his iPhone. From his experience, you can see that Matthias' life was changed once he received his implant. And then once he received the Nucleus 7 processor, it took things up to the whole next level. Now what's amazing about the cochlear implant is that the same implant that you could have received years ago will allow you to upgrade your sound processor so you don't have to go back in for multiple surgeries. This wouldn't have been possible if we would have not worked very closely with, uh, with the Apple team. Apple had done an MFI program for hearing aids uh, before. Uh, the company that I initially worked with is a company called GN Resound, which is actually also our, our hearing aid partner. So we had a little bit of a, of a head start there. I think it's worth saying that for them, uh, you really get the sense that they take it really serious. It's not just an afterthought. I think they, they deeply care about uh, people being access their technology. Uh, and I think they already had implemented wonderful features in their devices already. Jan Janssen, Senior Vice President of Research and Development for Cochlear Limited, he was the point person in working directly with Apple. He mentions Apple's passion for accessibility and a few other key things that will help them become the leader of hearing accessibility. What the Nucleus 7 processor does for families is that it allows the hearing loss to adapt to the scenery. There are a few accessories like the TV streamer that connects directly to the TV. This streams the audio directly to your implant. There's also the mini clip, meaning you can attach a mic to someone and that audio streams directly to their implant. A good example is in a noisy restaurant or a teacher in a large classroom. Attach the mic and then you can hear them just like they were standing right next to you. Also, another great benefit is that the surgery and sound processor is something that is usually covered by insurance here in the States. When you first get switched on, things sound different. It's not what you're used to, and, and it does take some adaptation. Your brain is remarkably um, flexible and, and plastic, you know, neuroplasticity. It allows you to learn how to hear again with a, with a cochlear implant. And it, it didn't take me long, whereas it, normally they wouldn't have that kind of access to, to audio and, and conversation, so it would take a lot longer. So I think we're gonna see people Roger is just not the product manager, but he's a recipient as well. So he understands what goes into the product day to day. The application is all new to the Nucleus line. This application allows the recipient to do several things. First, they have a status screen. This tells them exactly what's going on with the Nucleus 7 at all times. 
On the status screen, it gives you important information like remaining battery life and also coil off. What a coil off is, is if you remove your sound processor off the implant. And also you have something called time and speech. And this is definitely important for parents with younger children who are cochlear recipients. It is imperative to be exposed to speech when that young to help with understanding and pronunciation. And this helps parents diagnose what's going on if the child is not progressing as expected. Also, there's a Find My Processor feature that works just like Find My iPhone. It gives you the latest information on where the processor was last seen so you can hopefully retrieve it. Apple's involvement was huge. Apple has a huge initiative for expanding accessibility, and this is just a notch under their belt for allowing people who may otherwise struggle using their products. Apple worked hand in hand with Cochlear to make this happen. I had a chance to sit down and speak with Sarah Herlinger, Apple's Director of Accessibility, about Apple's direction to continue to push this forward. Although she didn't share specific plans, there are several things in the works. The Nucleus 7 definitely opened my eyes to what's possible with technology. Although it doesn't impact me directly, it's nice to see the advance in medical device technology. And this allows more people than ever to connect with others. And you may not have hearing loss, and that's okay, but I'm sure you can think of someone that does. Hearing loss affects so many people, and this right here is huge. This is called an activation. This is the very first time that a recipient is being connected to her Nucleus 7. And from here, I'll let her reaction tell the story. How does it sound? Oh, wow. It's yeah. so clear. It's like crystal. It's really clear. Yeah. Hello? Hi. Good, how are you? Um, you want to say a couple sentences for me so I can test out how clear this is? Thank you. It, it's working amazingly. Um, I don't think I've ever heard this before. It's like right in my ear. How does it sound? It sounds very clear. Thanks to Cochlear for sending me out and sponsoring this video and allowing me to share this with you. Hey guys, there's more information about the Nucleus 7 down below, also some additional resources for people who are hard at hearing, and also closed captioning has been enabled on this video so anyone could access this. Feel free to send this video to anyone who has hearing loss as this video will be posted on Facebook too. The link is down below as well. What's important is to get this in the hands of as many people as possible so they understand their options. Thank you for watching. Please seek advice from your medical practitioner or health professional about treatments for hearing loss. They will be able to advise on a suitable solution for the hearing loss condition. All products should be used only as directed by your medical practitioner or health professional.